cartoon shows may not be exclusively to children, but it's pretty obvious that most cartoons are geared towards them. Even cartoons that adults love, like SpongeBob SquarePants, Adventure Time, and the regular show, the younger audience of these shows have to be considered at all times. There are, however, cartoons that really push the boundaries of what can be shown to children. The first show that comes to mind is Batman the Animated Series and Batman Beyond. These two series showcase a very gritty and dark portrayal of a caped crusader, with the show featuring battles with grief, identity, gang violence, death, and other pretty serious stuff that would usually not be deemed appropriate for a kid's show. But there are some other shows that crossed the line of what was appropriate, and as a result of this, had episodes banned from TV. Let's have a look at some. Before we get started though, make sure to subscribe so you can enter into our monthly shoutout giveaway. The dangers of alcohol addiction are very real, and I suppose it's certainly not a bad idea to teach kids that they should not abuse alcohol. That's a lesson that the show Tiny Toons tried to teach, but according to some, the way the episode taught this valuable lesson was obnoxiously comedic, and I guess some people felt as if the show was just trivializing and making a joke out of a very big issue. If you watched the episode, you can kind of understand that perspective. Buster Bunny, Hampton J. Pig, and Plucky Duck all become incredibly intoxicated after drinking just one beer. This intoxication leads them to do irresponsible things that are actually quite funny to watch. While I don't think there's anything wrong with this episode, it certainly didn't do a good job at teaching the kids the dangers of alcohol addiction. What are you thinking, Buster? Let's drink it! Drink it? But Buster, this isn't like you. I know, but in this episode, we're showing the evils of alcohol. Homosexuality has been stigmatized and stereotyped for a very long time, and during the 80s and 90s, it was probably at its most crass. There were plenty of shows that portrayed homosexuality in a way that just wouldn't be acceptable nowadays. But even back then, some portrayals of homosexuality just weren't seen as appropriate to put on TV, especially from a kid's show. For example, the cow and chicken episode titled Buffalo Bills was banned. This episode featured a gang who went by the name Buffalo Girls, and there were many jokes surrounding the Buffalo Girls that heavily implied they were lesbians. These jokes weren't all that tasteful, nor were they exactly appropriate for kids. For example, there's one scene where they're eating a carpet, and if you don't get it, then you're probably too young to know. Who could that be? Water pile, water pile, water pile, water pile. Do we have company? Well, sort of. <laughs> Earlier on in the video, I mentioned how Batman the Animated Series and Batman Beyond got away with a lot of dark subject matter. I didn't mention it for no reason though, because if an episode from an animated Batman show were to be banned, you'd expect it to be from one of those two shows. However, Batman the Brave and the Bold is the only animated Batman show to have an episode banned. This is surprising because Batman the Brave and the Bold is a show that's much lighter in tone when compared to Batman the Animated Series or Batman Beyond. The show is aesthetically and thematically similar to the Silver Age of Batman comics when Batman was more goofy and campy. So why was an episode banned from this show? Well the episode title, The Masks of Matches Malone, features a musical number starring Catwoman, Huntress, and Black Canary. The song they sing is chock full of innuendos that were maybe a little too obvious for kids TV. Monsters, creeps, and crooks. Men in tights come after you, and still you're off the hook. For those who scare and terrorize, it's the dawn of a brand new day. You scum can simply call us the one and only birds of prey. The Garbage Pail Kids series of trading cards were a huge hit in the 80s. While obviously their popularity over time has diminished, they were at one point as big as Pokemon cards. So naturally, a cartoon show was being made to capitalize off this huge trend. Even after the TV show was made though, it never aired in the US due to parental concerns. I don't think there's anything explicitly offensive about this show, I just think the vulgar nature of the Garbage Pail Kids scared parents into thinking that the show was going to rot their children's brains. If you actually watch the show though, there's nothing particularly striking about it.
Pokemon is not only one of the most popular video game series out there, or trading card series out there, but it's also spawned one of the most popular cartoons ever made. Millions of kids around the world watch and still watch this show. However, a while back, some rumors started spreading of a haunted episode that was sending kids to hospitals and had to be removed. Now this is only kind of true. The episode isn't haunted, but unfortunately, it did trigger seizures in many children due to its use of strobing. Now you can easily find this episode online for yourself, but if you are sensitive to strobing, please do not watch this episode. This next one is one of the more pathetic reasons why an episode of a cartoon has been banned. The season 5 episode of the Powerpuff Girls sparked religious controversy over the fact that some of the steel beams in the burning building were vaguely resembling crosses. No, I'm not joking, that's the exact reason why. And just to make it a little bit more ridiculous, there was controversy over one of the characters looking sort of similar to Jesus himself. Anime usually features an abundance of fan service, but this episode of Outlaw Star was maybe a bit too much, especially considering the fact that kids watch this show. The episode Planet Tenry was banned for nudity alongside an over-sexualization of women. The episode also featured grown women flirting with the character Jim Hawking, who's an 11 year old boy, which is just straight creepy. Needless to say, this episode took things a little too far. Ooh, what have we here? Such an adorable little fella. He's just my type. What do you say we have some fun with him, huh? <laughs> He's so cute! Hey, sweetie pie, why don't you come and play with us? <laughs> this is hot. There is nothing that I find appealing about this. The episode of Dexter's Laboratory, titled Rude Removal, was banned due to implied profanity. The episode focuses on Dexter creating a machine that removes the rudeness out of his sister, Dee Dee. But after Dee Dee and Dexter get into a fight, Dexter's machine accidentally creates incredibly rude clones of Dee Dee and Dexter. These clones swear a lot, but the swearing is censored. However, even though it is all censored, that was still apparently too much for a kid's TV show. Dee Dee is also seen racing her middle finger in the title card while Dexter is revealing his backside. What a f are we? the f out of me! While you're in Dexter's laboratory, silly. I'm Dexter, and this golden-haired angel behind me is my charming sister, Dee Dee. Charmed! Ah, f off! Oh, oh dear. dear! 